Hi folks, Corky Duke here, Bomber Crew is the game, and Women of Country Music is my brand new campaign. So let's head off to the briefing, and we're going to pick a target, which will be Monserrato. That's always the second mission for any campaign, because we get enemy damage down for the next two missions. That's why it's always the second choice for target. Alrighty, here we go. And we'll get everybody into their assigned spot and get this bomber airborne. Alrighty, here we go. Pretty pink bomber. Alrighty. Get these things tagged and have my gunners shoot at them and knock them down. Alright, girls, I tagged them in your wagon. Great shooting. Alrighty. Yeah, we're getting close to the target. There's more of them coming up at us. Alrighty. Good shooting, girl. Fixed. They affect our turrets. Take a picture of it, destroy it, and come on. And conclude the second mission. Looks like I got it. I did. Alrighty. Look at these fighters tag. Here, boy, the gun position. Should help out. Alright. Alright. Down the stairs. Good. Good shooting. Excellent. Alright. Good shooting, girls. You're out of danger for the time being. Everybody looks like they're 100% health, so they're going to need to make a trip to sick bay. Which is always good. The fact that the B-17 in this game has a sick bay is absolutely hilarious. It just simply wasn't any room for a bed to lie down. 
and get healed. <laughs> but you know, it's it's in the game, so you gotta use what the game gives you. You use it for your advantage too. That's the important thing. That way you can survive in the game. Still doesn't have her focus yet. Well, I know what a judge. Well, I know what it does though, so she'll be fighting. Miranda. Alright girl, she can sink down. Good. Screenshot crazy every time I get a new bomber. I'm gonna get a few holes. Look at that. All right, not enough to bring the B-17 down. B-17 is a rugged aircraft. It was, but it was still in operation. It's too bad that World War II was the only war they really used it in. Pretty much got. The uh, United States made like 19,000 B-17s throughout the whole war and basically there were hundreds at the end of the war that had to be scrapped because they simply weren't going to be used and that's very sad because uh, the war was over with and they had no use for them anymore. They were already getting into jets that made them obsolete and it's just a beautiful bomber. It's always been my favorite bomber. Or since that NBC, uh, NBC special, All the Fine Young Men aired back in 1984. I've been a big B-17 fan. That is the bomber. The go-to bomber. There's the runway. Now we're going to go to the landing field. Land this beautiful bomber. And we'll fly another mission. Ah, oh, come on. Come on, Reva, land it. Our electro system is going out now. But we're landed, so it doesn't matter. Alright, we should be able to upgrade the electrics, the electric system here. So we're going to be doing that because it is a must. We don't want to lose our radar, and that's what the electrics, electric system operates. Radar, among, among other functions, too. Corkscrew is available. I think that was one thing that uh, I failed to do in the Men of Country Music campaign. There was a JU 88 coming up on us. And he was firing his 20 millimeters right at the front of the plane. And he totally shot the nose out, which downed the bombardier and navigator, which I believe was Chrissy Bird and I can't remember who else. Anyway, that, from that point on, it was it was all downhill. I mean, I just, the crew members kept going down one by one because I couldn't get, a, get, couldn't get control of the situation. All right. So, now I know to do corkscrew when they're coming up on us like that. I'm firing those, I can see those 20 millimeters being fired, but that's never happened before. That nose never got shot out like that before, so I didn't expect it to. So one of the variations in the game, let's see. Ah, uh, let's see. We got enough money for that, we do. Let's go with the tail. With the tail. No, we don't have enough money for the tail. We should do the left waist and the left cheek. I uh, don't have enough money for that. Forty dollars short. Can we believe that? Alrighty. 
We're trying to set, I'm trying to set this up so we can get that ace on the very first time we see him. So anyway, that was the second mission. We shot 14 fighters in the first mission. How many did we shoot in the second one? 14 minus 32. I'm lousy at math. So that's 22. 18? Looks like 18. All righty. Set off on our third mission. That'll be Defend Allied Transport. Ah. Out of coffee, damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Alrighty, let's make this mission success. I've had troubles with this mission in the past, but I think I know what I gotta do. Uh, I have succeeded at this mission. It just, it's a little tricky. Upgrade the hydraulic system, keep that from breaking down so much. There they are, coming in straight at us. I want to clock stop it. Back into her bombardier's position. Alrighty. The ghost clouds. Uh, crap. Somebody's calling me. Probably Jeremy from State Farm. get him on the first try like that. That's good. That's going to be good. I don't think I can get him before he fires his first torpedo. That's all right. Got to keep an eye out for fighter. So far, none on the radar. They will show up. And there they are. fighters at. Okay, he's 
good ways out, so can't miss him though. Beautiful. All right. Okay, cool. Where's the spiders coming in at? Damn it. Any more out there than these three? Successful mission, yes, outstanding. Alrighty. Well, it looks like that should be it. I think they're gonna disengage head for home. Lots of coffee. A lot of coffee. Anyway, good shooting girls. Good job. Successful mission. That's gonna be huge. I'm finally figuring out how to lead these bombs. In a way where I just, I'm getting hits and knocking the damn torpedo boats into the ocean. I swear, for the longest time I had the biggest problem with this campaign. I mean, with this mission, not campaign, with this mission. There we go. There we go. All right, land this thing. Captain McIntyre. Alrighty, there we go. Hopefully we can upgrade the hydraulics and the port side sheet gun. That'd be nice if we could do that. Then we'll keep that enemy ace to our left side. So we face him in the very next mission. Pitiful how much money we get from that. Pitiful. Absolutely pitiful. Alrighty. I'm refusing to mark one. Crap. Well, that's what we got to go for, I think. And training? Yeah, everybody's due for training now. Backup positions. Pilot for. Master Sergeant Terry Clark, in case something happens to McIntyre. First aid of the front of the bomber will be handled by First Lieutenant Carrie Underwood. And Pam Tillis will be a backup gunner. Sarah Evans will be a backup navigator. Randy Lambert will be a backup radio operator. They'll switch roles. And an engineer, backup engineer. Naomi Judd and first aid for the rear of the bomber will be handed by, handled by Winona. Now, we got to get this fuselage up to armored mark one. Let's get the fuselage up. already don't have enough money to upgrade the hydraulic system. Let's go with the gun turrets. Left cheek. And we do a couple more spots. So now we got left cheek and left waist at uh, 303 times 1 mark 2. 
that'll help us. So let's get the rest of it as much as we can. The armored mark piece, we can one. And that'll do it. We got 40 bucks left. That'll do it for this two mission block. Second and third mission. I'm Court to Duke, Court to Duke, 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 my website. Like, comment, and share my videos. Subscribe, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'd appreciate it. Um, this is a Women of Country Music, a brand new campaign. And thanks for watching. We'll see y'all later. Take care. Bye.